everyone so today i wanted to share a few handmade christmas gift ideas with you all so i really hope you enjoy the video so starting off with dried flower bouquets i got this idea when i went to a garden center recently and they had this amazing selection of dried flowers so i picked up a selection and i thought i could put them together and make little bouquets for my friends and family so here I'm just ripping up some fabric and cutting off different textured yarns and ribbons. And then I made some little tags with Merry Christmas on them that I just tied the little bouquets up with. So then onto making the bouquet, I decided to make six little bouquets of dried flowers. So I'm just separating all of the dried flowers out and I found it easier doing this on the floor because there's much more space on the floor and so here they all are lying out on the floor. I then tied them all together into little bunches and trimmed off the bottoms so they look nice and neat. And then I just went in with my different ribbons and twines and tied around them and added in the tags. And those are the finished dried flower bouquets. I feel like this is such a nice little present because everyone loves dried flowers at the moment. On to the next idea. I wanted to create some decorations with salt dough. So you will need some flour, salt, cookie cutters, grease proof baking paper and a rolling pin. And you also need water. <laughs> I will link the recipe I used down below. It actually ended up making a lot of <laughs> um, salt dough so you probably don't need to use as much as I did so I just combined all that together and then I sandwiched the dough in between the grease proof paper um, because you don't want to go using loads of flour with this and then I just cut out the shapes I wanted and put little holes through them and this is what they look like when they're dry so they take about two to three hours to dry because you have to dry them very slowly and then I went in with some paint I spray painted them first just for speed and then I went in and did some little decorative ideas I also found I needed to go in with a little hand drill and just drill the holes in a bit more because they'd closed up a little bit and you'll also need to fix these with PVA glue so that they last a bit longer And I decided to make some little sausage dog bunting. So here's me just laying out my sausage dogs. And then for most of them, I just tied them up with a little bit of twine and they looked super cute on the tree. This one actually turned out really well. It was just some tiny stars threaded through and knotted. Another use for them is in gift wrapping. You can just wrap them around some twine and then write their name on it. I'm also using some of the dried flowers here and I think they look really nice on gift wrapping. On to the next one, I decided to make some tablet fudge. This, I don't know if this is just a Scottish thing or if it's a general thing, um, but this is the recipe I'm using. Again, I will link it down below. These are the ingredients. This, you have to be a little bit patient with this recipe because it does take a while and you have to make sure it gets to a really specific temperature like this <laughs> um, before it sets. I then made some little bags to put the sweets in because I thought it's a nice way to present it. And here I am putting the tablet into little plastic bags. I used some plastic gloves so that my hands don't touch any of the fudge. And again, I used some little tags and tied up the tops of the bags.
And then finally, handmade cards are one of my favourite things to do. I have a big selection of handmade cards already that are not Christmas related. So I thought I would do some Christmas related ones and show you some of the things I use to make my cards. So this big circle press is from Hobbycraft. Basically anything I'm using can be found in Hobbycraft. And these tiny letters are also from Hobbycraft. And I just love how simple these cards can look. This one is a bit more experimental. I just, when I'm making cards, I just sort of have a, I don't know, like a mind dump on these cards and I just go a bit bonkers sometimes. <laughs> I also used one of the cookie cutters I used for the salt dough and traced around it to make a little flory shaped Christmas card. Another cute way to make a card is to use a hole punch and just punch some coloured card and then you have these nice little spots. So there we have it, those are my little gift ideas for Christmas. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you try any of them out for yourself. I would love to see. Please tag me on Instagram. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video.